Uh, again, guys, I'm Tony Dethridge. I'm with Snorkel, and we're going to discuss the 3246. Again, 32 foot platform height with a 46 foot or 46 inch overall um, deck width. Starting at the ground controls, you can see it's a very simple ground control design. You really have two toggle switches, one of which, which is going to select your platform ground select, and then the other one is going to be your elevation from the ground controls. Hour meter right on the ground control panel with a push, pull, emergency stop for power. We do have steel swing out trays and a comment was made earlier about robust people standing on the control box so I'm about as robust as they get here today so there we are. Okay, so again very robust. So once the tray is opened up at this point you have access to all of our major components um, as far as hydraulic goes. Uh, your valve, pump and motor assembly, uh, the pump and motor assembly, we're running about uh, 10 gallons a minute max output. Um, reservoir, motor controller, and your pump contactors. The motor controller um, setup that we are using is a um, PG Trionic setup. It is a uh, input-output type setup. You get the input from the controller. The um, motor controller then takes that signal and sends a signal out to the motor for proportional control. One of the things that we do have on the machine is we are a front drive machine. So that means your front wheels, your steer wheels are the drive motors. The rear is where your brakes are located and it is a completely enclosed brake um, spring applied hydraulic release. So one of the things that we have on our valve is a actual hand pump that you can build pressure in order to release the brakes in an emergency situation. You can hand pump the pump five, seven times, that'll release the brakes, and then at that point you can move the machine in and out of the way from there. Okay. Easy access to all major wear items on this machine with the swing out tray. Let's go to the other side, we'll show the battery tray. Mark, you wanna swing it around? So as Mark's turning this around, we do run a 24 volt system on the machine, which consists of four six volt batteries, and they are 220 amp hour batteries. Okay. That's good. Exact same tray design on this side. From the outside of the machine, you have access to a lockable battery disconnect switch. So if you would need to leave this on the job site, you could actually put the padlock through it with the battery disconnect switch off, again, for safety. Uh, we have access to the battery charger right here. The battery charger does have charge indicator lights on it. The indicator lights tell you if it's charging and at what rate the batteries are charged. There's a 50, 75%, and 100% light. Okay. Once the tray is open, again, you have easy access to the batteries for daily maintenance um, without really having to remove anything. Pop the tray open, you have access to everything right here. So again, one of the things that we want is we want to make sure that the operator does have full access to everything during the daily inspection so that they can see all the components. Okay. The stack incorporates maintenance-free bearings, so there's no grease points on the scissor stack itself. The platform does have fold-down rails. Our fold-down rail system is slightly different. We actually fold the rail down completely, uh, not just part of it. Eight-pin setup, you pull eight pins, lay the platform down. At that point, it gives us a less than a six-foot stowed height with the rails down. The upper controls, very simple, very, just like our ground control panel. There's just not a lot on here. 
you got a couple toggle switches. Again, same like most of us have. A select switch for drive and lift. You have an enable, a joystick for lift and drive, thumb steer. But we also incorporate a, a, a range switch for low and high range. High range gives you um, higher drive speeds. Low range gives you higher torque. That way, again, if you get into a situation where you're going up a grade or down a grade, then you can control the speed of the machine by selecting that switch. E-stop on the front of the box, just like at the ground controls. Okay. Low maintenance machine, again, like I said, the um, bearings or the bushings in the scissor stack are maintenance free. Um, the king pins will have uh, grease certs in them so that we can grease those. But other than that, there's really no grease certs on the machine. Any questions? Elevate the machine so we can see it. Okay. We do have the safety prop just like everyone else has. Self stowing, okay? doesn't have to be um, pinned or anything like that. It just lays in a little cradle. Uh, once the scissor stack is elevated high enough, float this all the way over. And with the V notch in the stack, it will self center on the lower arm. We also incorporate a manual um, descent on the machine as well. There's a red handle right back here. It's a cable pull setup. With it elevated, you grab a hold of the um, cable pull, pull it, and it will actually bypass the holding valves on the cylinders and allow the machine to come down. Okay, but it is cable actuated. Two cylinders on the 32-foot machine as well. I'm going to talk about potholes. Well, one thing I didn't mention was the pothole protection on our machine. Um, the pothole protection is a mechanical um, pothole protection. So, Mark, when you get up here, if you would just raise it up real quick. The um, as you with all the machines, as you elevate, the potholes will deploy. And what we have is you have a activator arm in the back that has a cog set up so that as this goes up you'll see the potholes will deploy this is the activator arm right here the activator arm has a bracket in the middle of the scissor stack here so as you come down it pushes that bar into the belly of the machine with these cogs, what it does is it acts like a gear and pulls your pothole protection back up. So it is completely mechanical. Um, the only electrical component that you have on the whole thing is there's a limit switch down in the middle to tell it when it is deployed and when it is not. As with everyone else's, one side or the other gets um, obstructed, it will go into an interlock. At that point, you will not be able to lift, will not be able to drive. The only function you will have will be lower. The slide out on our machine, you have two handles that actually have a pin that goes up into the real assembly. As you push down on that, you release the pin, and then you push it out. 700-pound capacity on the machine, 250 on the rollout, 450 back here. Not strong enough. <laughs> OK. 
Okay? Any other questions? Is there a battery protection system? With this, there is going to be a battery cutout um, on the new controller that we're running, and that is going to eliminate the ability to lift the machine. It will still allow us to drive to get it to a charge station. At this point, um, I don't believe there's going to be any alert or any alarm to that. You're just going to lose the ability to elevate, and then you'll have to drive to a charging station to charge. Uh, 24, 820. 220 amp hour batteries. Um, of the 3246, the would have been 2005, I believe. Thank you.